welcome back to another update of my uh, plants. My name is Eddie and I am a new plant mommy who is on a journey to uh, develop a green thumb and become like the best plant mommy that I know I can be. And I am sharing videos that uh, are just helping me document my process and document my journey. And today I am sharing the update on my bluey plants, which are my fiddle leaf figs. Um, that is the, the plant that started me to really commit to this journey in the first place. And I figured that uh, because I love bluey or we're like a bluey household, one of the things that I've done is start to name my plants, various plants, whether it's either like with Bluey characters or with Seinfeld, which is another favorite show of mine. And um, and I shared in another video some of my succulents that are my um, Seinfeld plants. But I wanted to give an update on my Bluey plants and try to get some feedback or some advice on maybe what to do or what I'm doing wrong because I, I don't know, right? So, so this is the plant that started it all. This is, this was the original Bluey and I've had her for over a year, but she's really struggling. Like I really am not understanding like what's happening with her and I'm afraid that she is not going to make it. And I just thought like, oh, if, she, if she's bluey and she doesn't make it, I've killed the main character um, of the show. So I think I'm going to rename her Calypso. She is the preschool teacher that bluey, where bluey attends school. And I love Calypso and I hope she makes it, but, but she's not a main character. And if she doesn't make it, you know, like I'm really gonna try to keep her. I, I'm like really trying to keep her alive because she's my original baby. She's my original fiddle leaf, and um, but she's just not doing well. And I don't know what what I'm doing wrong. I don't know. I don't know if it's she's too far gone. I don't know if I'm overwatered. I underwatered. Um, you know, like she was doing fine, but then she just started to like show these leaves. Um, I've, I've been transferring all of my plants into LECA. And so, you know, like all of my other plants, as you'll see in a minute, are doing okay. And I, but I don't know what's going on with her. I don't know what's going on with Calypso. So she's drooping, she's sad. She's not, um, you know, like I can see that her roots are not sitting in water. She um, gets to sit under a grow lamp um, for like 12 hours a day. So maybe she's getting too much sun or too much light not enough light i don't know but if you are seeing this and can offer me any feedback i would love it because i i want to see her thrive i want to see her succeed but for now she's calypso she was bluey now she's calypso so of course because i got a new name for calypso i had to get a new bluey plant which is currently this girl here and i just got her um, from Walmart, I got a, I'm, I've gotten a bunch of my plants from Walmart, which is a little scary because Walmart is dangerous in the sense of like a Target, like you can just walk in and you, you can never walk out with like less than, you know, with, with just what you had on your list. So I was happening to be walking at Walmart, getting some stuff and, and she called out to me and, and here is my Bluey. So I just got her. She is still in soil. I haven't transferred her to LECA yet. And I don't know if I'm actually going to transfer her to Leka, um, which is uh, the lightweight, uh, what is it? Lightweight uh, clay aggregate. I, I forget the, what the E stands for, but um, I've been transitioning all of my plants, but this is Bluey and she's the new member of the family. She just came into the house a couple of days ago, hence why uh, Calypso got renamed um, from the original Bluey. So here's Bluey. She's doing, she's doing well. I've only had her a couple of days. So far, so good. You know, we'll knock on wood. She's gonna keep thriving. So here is Bingo. 
She's my little baby, bingo. She's been, she's in LECA. She's been in LECA for a couple of weeks now, maybe a month, and she's doing really well. As you can see, her leaves are still shiny. Her leaves are still perky. She's she's still she's still doing well. So again, I'm doing the exact same thing for all of my plants, and and I, you know I I kind of don't know I don't know why the original Bluey now Calypso is not doing well. But here's um, here's Bingo and she's doing well. Here is Chili Mom. All right, Mom is doing fantastic. She's I've had her. For also a couple of a couple of weeks and she's like thriving like also in Lekka um, you can't really see it in there but there's like a little bud growing and she's she's like loving life and I love it because she's mom and she's 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 chilly so she's she's kick-ass and, and she's she's doing really well again I, I'm keeping the same um, environment for all of these plants. Um, I think what I need to do, what I want to do is I want to, um, clean her off. Um, I've read that neem oil is, is the way to go. So just take like a cloth and some neem oil and just, um, you know, like, and just, um, rub the leaves. I will say that I am a little nervous to do that because I'm afraid that I might get a little too heavy handed and I might like pull one off or like, I'm just, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. So, but, but chili is, is doing like wonderful and, and I'm happy about that. So that's giving me a little bit of confidence that like what I'm doing is working for, I guess for some plants. Um, but whatever I'm doing with her is working. She also is in Lekka and she's doing great. And finally, Here's Bandit, here's Dad, and he's also in Lekka. Now, oh, I just, I'm dripping here. So, he's also in Lekka, and as you can see, he's doing okay. Like, he's he's good, but his some of his leaves are drooping. Um, I just, um, as you can see that they're, they're in, like, sort of the water here. Um, He's drooping a little bit. I don't know if he's underwatered because he is kind of a big guy, hence why he's bandit, dad. Um, he's drooping a little bit, and um, and I'm kind of not knowing why. Now, I do see that these roots are exposed, so that could be a contributing factor, in which case I'm going to um, repot this um, and bury the roots a little bit more. But um, but he's doing well. He's doing okay. So bandit, you know, like we're 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 doing we're doing well with most of our with most of our fiddly figs, which again has was really intimidating. But at the same time, I I enjoy the challenge, and I am like committed to this process, and and I'm trying to get them acclimated or get them settled. Um, before baby comes, um, I'm doing June. So I'm hoping that as I can nurture these plants and they kind of take root and from what I understand about fiddle leaf figs is like once, once they've kind of made their home, like they will thrive, right? As long as I continue to, to pay attention to them and water them appropriately and give them the, the right amount of, of sunlight, which right now in New Jersey in March, um, there's not a lot of sunlight, um, so they're kind of under a grow lamp. But um, so far, they're doing well, and I'm hoping that by June, by the time baby gets here, like they will be thriving. But I wanted to share the update because I've been like really happy that um, many of them, most of them, are thriving. Now it's four, and that's a lot of fiddle leaf figs, but I'm like committed to it. So, so they seem to be doing fine. So here here they are again like here's here's bandit here's once what was once bluey who is now calypso please any advice you could give i would love here's the new bingo here's the new bingo here's mom chili and we have our little girl bandit here so 
any feedback you could give me um, would be welcome. I am loving it so far. It's getting a little dangerous in my house because I only have so much room and, you know, like I'm, I'm becoming a little preoccupied with getting these plants. So I'm thinking I'm going to stop buying plants or I'm going to really try and not overwhelm myself. And like I said, I'm probably not going to transfer the new Bluey into Leka just yet. I'm just going to see how she does. Um, so that I don't overwhelm myself and I just try to really take care of the plants that I have here. So any advice would be welcome. And um, thanks for coming along on this journey. So far, so good for, for most of them. And just stay tuned for updates and feedback. And, and, and if you want to help someone else, like please, like in the comments, just offer something. So thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.